And we back. I'm adding a 99 overall to the worst team in the league to see how long it'll take them to win a championship. Uh, the Pistons are eight and 46. I guess you can argue right now that the Pistons aren't the worst team in basketball anymore, but the records say they are, so they are. Um, also, to, I do start today. 2K has not updated start today since the All-Star break. So that's great. A billion dollar company, um, I think. I mean, I don't know how much money they make, but like they just said, ah, ah. We gonna get we gonna give you start today late and then we're gonna stop updating it. <laughs> this game sucks. Um hey, there's our guy, George T. Pullet. Auto-generated name. We just gave him 99 everything. You know what I'm saying? Um dude, we just gave him 99 everything. He is a ringer. He is a 6'9 demigod from what college? From Southeast Missouri State. Don't ask. That was the auto <laughs> that was the auto-generated one. He's going to come in. He's on the six-year, $6 million deal. He basically doing it for the love of the game. He said that $1.1 million that he's promised this year, that's too much money, coach. I don't want to take that much money, but I, he had to because that's the minimum we can give him. He is here to help. Now, I'm not doing nothing. I don't control this team. I am a spectator. Ooh, we lose the first game. Just like the rest of y'all. And George, George, only 31, 16, and 8. Pfft, how are you at 99 3 and you're going to shoot that from 3? Hello. Anyway, um... He's the perfect NBA player. That's all you really need to know. And remember, they won eight games before he got here. And look, a three-game win streak for the Detroit Pistons. They might want to throw a parade right now. Triple-double with eight blocks. I love when we do these type of videos because we just get to see some ridiculous stat lines. 32, 15, and 12. Uh, can he do this for the last 24 games of the year and be in conversations for an award? Nah, right? You need that 65-game minimum. Well, the Pistons already looking dramatically better. But this year, we know they're not going to make a playoff push. The most wins they can have is like 24 right now. So they're not going to do that. All right, their awards, boom, boom, boom. The, the worst thing about it is that he's robbed from an experience to get rookie of the year because those 20-some games not enough. But they won 29 games. I said the most they can get is 24. My math was way off. They won 29 games. So he immediately, and I mean immediately, came in and made a huge impact. They were still the worst. I'm sorry. They were the 13th seed, y'all. Ooh. We could have made a playoff push. The overall stats were 30, uh, 13, and 12 assists. So many assists and so many points. He only lost seven games since he got here. He only lost seven. This team lost 27 in a row. He only lost seven in two months. That's pretty good. Now, I don't know what they're going to do this offseason. I even think they got a little bit of cash that they could throw around. The only thing that matters is that George is going to be here. And he's going to be here for a long time. Are they going to win a lottery? No, they get the fifth overall. No, why do I keep thinking we the Pistons? Probably because I'm, I keep thinking we the Wizards. Probably because the Wizards were the other team that I thought about putting them on. But we get the seventh overall pick. Can I get somebody to go with the 7th overall pick? The answer is... Do, 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 drum roll, please. 77 overall power forward from Cincinnati. Oh, man. What can you do well? The answer is nothing. No, he's a great blockman. He can get some blocks. That's probably enough. That's probably enough. Again, I don't control it, so let's see what they do. Anytime you go to free agency for the Pistons, Jalen Duran ends up on a different team. Let's see if that happens again. We have LeBron James now. LeBron saw another young goat and said, I want to join that team. Wow. Uh, wait, was Jalen Duran still on the team? Okay, he is. Okay, cool. So, Bron, Caden, it's, it's Caden still, but they got Bron and George. I told Bron that he could not retire, and he said, bet, I'm coming to your team then. That's the perk of having all of that money. We also bring in Lonnie Walker. And yeah, man, I think we might win the championship this year. Bron is only a 93, only a 93. K jumped up. Jalen Duran be stagnant at 83, which I hate for him. Um, this team has great potential. E even Marcus Sasser jumping up five or three. I mean, it's a playoff team. Even without Bron, I think we're going to be a playoff team this year. But now that we got Bron, Bron want to spend his last year of his NBA career with our team. I feel highly, highly honored. First game, Bron going to mess up some of our stats, though. Look, look, Bron over here trying to take the souls. This is not supposed to be for you, Bron. You didn't had your, your tour and everything. A love, 10th overall pick to the bull. Okay, yeah, a very great game. Um, But, yeah, look, nine shot attempts. Come on, pull. Come on, G-Pool. No way. Okay, that's more shot attempts. 
Braun immediately, even though Paul got the higher overall, it's immediately Braun's team. It's immediately Braun's team. That's kind of crazy. I cannot, it's, it's immediately LeBron's team. And, and let's see if that's, stand, we had 11 games in. Let's see if that's still true. 26, six and five, 25, 13 and eight. Okay, so not Braun's team, but somehow old old LeBron is shooting 42% from three and our 99 overall three point shoot is only shooting 30%. This game makes no sense. They went out. They are the greatest regular season team in history. Can they get it done? The answer is yes. And George T. Pullen with 25, 13, and 9 on the greatest team of all time. He was so close to 50, 40, 90, but couldn't get that three-point percentage up. All right. A defensive player of the year, George T. Pullen. Clutch player of the Oh, you didn't get clutch player of the year. That hurts. Monty Williams, now Detroit Pistons fans, what you gonna say? You talk about him running all bench unit lineup. You talk about his rotations. You talk about whatever. Now he just won y'all 74 games out of, out of 100. That's not how many, 82 games. Don't You can't say nothing else. And that team signed LeBron. Uh, Detroit up top, LeBron is on second, second team. Look at us. Are we the greatest regular season and postseason team? Because what did the 96 Bulls say? Don't mean a thing without the ring. I was prepared to shoot this video and for it to be 40 minutes long because I didn't trust the Pistons' ability to build a championship contender. But they are the greatest regular season team in history right now, and I think I think it's done. And I'm gonna I'm gonna still get it up there. And then oh my God, it, they lost two games in this series. That's not good. Now we'll try it again with the Wizards and see what the Wizards can do if we win this. Yeah, it like we're going to win it. The Atlanta Hawks are the only thing standing in front of us, uh, pre preventing us from getting to the NBA championship to either go against Denver or OKC. Game one, win. Game two, win. Game three, now. Game four, right here, right now. Complete sweep of them guys. You know, Brian take a little back seat for the playoffs. Can't shoot no more for the playoffs, but, you know, drop a little bit. He's still assisting very well, still passing. Who we going to see in that final? It's going to be OKC. Shea versus George. George on the average, 21 in the conference finals. That's not like him. It's not like him. All right, here we go. First, well, let's see the team. Shea get, oh, OG on the, they signed OG on the note. I think that might be the first time I've seen that in 2K simulation. OG's a great defender, but he ain't stepping with George. Game one, we lose. George only took six shots. LeBron took 15. Um, I'm sorry, he only made six shots. There's no reason for George to take the same amount of shots as Marcus Sasser. Game two is a win, for sure, for sure. And still, George, you slacking, bro. 14 shot attempts for the greatest ever pickup of basketball is not enough. There you, there we go, George. Seven offensive rebounds is crazy. They are really giving us a series. Who else do y'all got? Drum, Wallace, Case and Wallace. Isaiah Joe, Isaiah Joe off the bench five threes is pretty dope. I mean, he's killing it. How are, he's averaging 14 points per game in limited amount of minutes in the playoffs and almost 40% from three. Big game five. We win that. One game away. Triple double alert for Poole. He's still, I got, I got two nicknames. You know what I'm saying? Georgie. We got Poole. We got GP, GTP. Um, get, let's, let's simcast this one. Let's simcast this one. To close out the video, championship win. We lose quarter one. Quarter two is a win. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a game. I was about to say your Detroit Pistons did it, but you got a game. All right. So Shea has 20. We have some low scoring games this year. Um, Shea has 20. Any foul outs from our guys? Four. Nope. So a couple people, five on the OKC side, but that's pretty much it. Win this game, win the series, win the championship. And my, if this is about to be a 10 minute video, come on. Come on, let's let's let it be the shortest video we published in like five years. Shape to the basket, plus one now for the OKC Thunder. It's gonna be a hard guy to guard, unless you put Jacob. Pull it. I called him Jacob. Um, is he? He's not even. He is on the court. He's in the corner. Okay, he's in the corner. LeBron is not on the court. Jay Nivey for three to go up two. No good. Shea gives Alexander with the board. What would he do? He's running right past Marcus Sass. He gives up to Isaiah Joe. That is a shooter. Thank God he missed. Come on. Find number 13. He cannot be sitting corner. Yeah, Paul. Yeah, uh, OG. Where you going? Oh, give it back to him, Marcus. Give it back to him, Marcus. LeBron is just sitting on the bench somewhere. That's kind of crazy. We're not close with LeBron. 
Back out to Ivy. Ivy for another three. Ah, oh, there's George T. Poole with a big offensive rebound. We've seen him get a lot of offensive boards, bro, uh, as far as the stat line goes. And we finally see how. He's just tip dunking everything. There it is. Okay, one point lead for the good guys. Isaiah Joe gets the ball. Gives it back up to Shea, who's guarded Marcus Sasser. Gives it back up to Isaiah Joe. We got the DPO on the team. He's guarding J-Dub. There he is. 101 action. J-Dub versus DPOY. A screen comes in from Drummond. The screen navigation for 13 was great. Great contest. Jalen Williams is a clutch, clutch player. One point game, baby. One point game. And Poole has the ball. No K Cunningham. No LeBron James. Just sitting on the sideline while Monty Williams just do nothing. Pulling. Has to give it up to Jay Nivey. Please give it back, J.I. You selling this game so far. He's trying to get downhill. Pull up. And it's a good... And there's the timeout. One point lead, 28 seconds to go. All right. Shea's got Cade. Lou Dort is being guarded by the DPOY. I hate that screen from Chet. Give it down to Shea, who's guarded by Cade. No size advantage, but two goes right up and over him like he doesn't exist. All right, man. All right. Last shot, hopefully, of the season. Let's see what we do. Ball goes into Cade with 18 seconds to go. Are we getting something early? They're denying ball on pull in that corner. He's got to do something to make himself available. Quick back door, a v, v line. You got to do something. He's not involved in the play at all. Said it's LeBron and Cade. LeBron, pump fake, one dribble pull up for the series. And they lose. Game seven is forced, y'all. Game seven is forced. If we don't win this year, we probably not going to win next year because Brian will retire, I'm assuming. Um... Did not get to see Poole involved in many actions. Uh, I guess that's okay. Because we're going to win this game seven. And we're going to get out of here. We simcast in this one too. Because that was too good. If we get another clutch game, I need to be inside of that. I need to be inside that game. And we are at home. Little Caesars Arena. And we are... We lost. <laughs> we lost. What the heck? Don't mean a thing without the ring is so true. So the 96 Bulls are still the greatest team of all time. Because even that, that Warriors team, the 26, 2016 Warriors? What are, yeah, 2016 Warriors didn't win their series. And now we did it. That's embarrassing. And now Bron is going to retire. And now we just lost LeBron James. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's great. That I, I love that for all of us. All right. Um, free agency we go. Do you know what that means for, like, Shea Gilgis Alexander's legacy? To take down the greatest regular season team in history in the finals when they had LeBron? Like, that's kind of crazy. All right. Detroit basketball. We get Kay Cunningham back. Okay, that's all I can really care for. Jonathan Kaminga. Three years, $98 million. Kaminga's on the team now. We get Marvin Bagley. <sighs> just wanted to stay away from Marvin Bagley. He just keeps finding his way back to my teams. Um... Well, well, player progression is not going to exist because uh, he's a 99. But everybody else is better. I just, I'm looking at Bagley being back and I'm like, what, what are we doing? <laughs> uh, yeah, Christian Wood's back too. What are we doing? I don't know what we're doing. All right, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Keep our head up. We did lose LeBron and get, now we got Jonathan Kaminga. So nothing really changed. Here we go. First game of the new season. It's pool season. He's almost a five by five every night. This is a championship team. But if we didn't get it done last year, we, uh, getting it down this year is going to be tough. I'll just say that. These stats are great. The 50 40 90 is the super fun part. Um, I expected more, George. Maybe you took. Oh, oh, six man of the year. We got DPOY. We get coach of the year and executive of the year. I, I mean, well, we won a bunch of awards last year, too. Um, so I, it don't really mean any anything. Um, but here, here we are. 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 Can we do it this time? This time around, we won 72 games. So we were close to the best regular season team of all time. But not quite. And that's good. We weren't shooting for that. Marcus Sasser is out with an injury for the entire playoff. Nope. One or two weeks. He'll be back in round two. Because we will make it to round two. I, I swear we better. We better. All right. First round, it is the Atlanta Hawks again. Do they make? They have not made any significant changes. So it's... GG to them. I appreciate y'all attempting to try to beat us every single season. It goes the same way. Marcus Sasser is probably close to coming back. It is Franz Wagner with the Hornets. Wow. Now, they do have a guy named uh, Theo Little, um, which is a dope name. That's a dope. I, 
Theo Little's a pretty good name, man. I love auto-generated rookies' names. Now, they don't... They, they can't mess with us. We can play three on five and beat them. All right, so back to the conference finals. None of this matters. We need to get back to that, that ultimate place. Darius, Donovan, Evan, Jarrett. Cool. Game one, win. Game two, win. Game three, win. Oh, we, we did, did that. We just did that. All right, all right, all right. It's John Morant versus uh, George T. Puller. John Morant has Desmond Bain. They have Chris Middleton. GG Jackson's up to an 80. And then Jaron. We should be starting um, Amin Thompson too. Oh, Jay Nivey's injured. Day to day though. So he, he could come back. He could come back. And then I didn't even know we had Trey Jones. But he could come back too. Uh, no, one or two weeks. He's done for the rest of the series probably. Uh, yeah, I, Asar Thompson should probably be starting. Man is man is shooting fourteen percent from three. How about we just stop taking them there? Is that a, is that a thing that we could do? Just stop taking them. Game one is a win, a huge win. What George said, he not going out like he did last year. George said he not going out like he did last year. Okay, all right, slow your roll. You know you're not perfect. They got Jay Paul on their team, third overall pick a few years back. He's pretty good. They also got Dante Exum, also pretty good. They got Clint Capella, also pretty good. They got a pretty deep team. 3-1 series us, though. Ladies and gentlemen, I think George and them did it. George and them did it. Now it shifts. Now it shifts because the video doesn't end now until they lose it. Could they go back to back to back to back to back to back to back? Now, the Pistons are the worst team in the league, but in 2K terms, they're definitely not because they have so many young players that they're just going to progress pretty well. So, yeah, like, here we are with your number three, and here we are champions because um, we have players. Look, we have 87, 87, and then Cade is sitting at 90, and that's before player progression. This team might win 17 in a row. I mean, I'm exaggerating, but this lineup right here is crazy. Asar Thompson is like a perennial backup, and that's just the way it's going to have to be, and I'm not even mad at it. Most overpowered player in the history continues to be the most overpowered player in the history. Two and a half blocks per game, two and a half blocks steals per game is great, too. Um, Asar Thompson kind of got that six man of the year thing on lock. And guess what, y'all? He shot 19% uh, from three. Stop playing. He might hit 20% next year. I, f I feel pretty good about this year. 71 wins. So it's not our best season. Um, but it's still 71 wins. You know what I'm saying? Like, I still feel okay. The Celtics uh, starting point guard position is no longer Drew Holiday, but the rest is the same. It's a good team. They might not have a good bench to be all the way here in the play in, or they plan too much to Davion Mitchell. I, I have no idea. Uh, they got P.J. Washington and then some people there. Yeah, this is a series that should be over in five at the latest. Take that foe. All right, so we get the the Raptors are back. Raptors, um, they got some stuff. Charles Singleton, I don't know who you are, but you look pretty solid. They got Grady and Trey Mann in the backcourt. I think we could dominate them. 3-2 uh, us. Thank you. They almost took that series. Uh, we get Jamal Murray. Wow. Oh, Franz Wagner's now a part of the Hornets. I remember that. Jamal Murray, Jayla Suggs, Lawrence Blackwell, Paolo Bancaro, Jalen Smith. I don't like their center possession. Jalen Duran should eat. We lose game one. That's fine. Uh, Jalen Duran should eat. There we go. Game two. And there are 14, 12. That's all right. There we go. We should be able to get out, out of here. Back to the finals to go against Wimby. Wimby has... Oh, it happened! The Trey Young, Victor Wibanyama thing that everybody's been asking for happened. They also got a guy named Franklin Hunt, who's probably one of the top picks in that first year. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, game one. Uh, It wasn't even Wimby. That's the scary part. Uh, MVP, come on, man. Come on, man. Game two. Oh. Oh. Uh, it, it was Wimby this time. But it's also like, who? where's our help? Where's our help? Oh, do we have injuries? We have to have injuries. Jay Nivey's injured in the finals again. That's the second time, bro. Alexei Pokushevsky and then Isaiah Stewart. We got three injuries. Okay. So, Corey Kispert, our shooting guard? Oh, no. Marcus Sasser is starting in case of the two. I don't hate that. I actually, actually think that's the right move to make. Um, they got Chris Dunn starting at the one now. Did they also have an injury? Because Trey Young was there. Oh, Trey Young got injured. This is a GG. No. What the heck? Wait. Wait, 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 you having Trey come off the bench for who? Chris Dunn? You know who's done? Y'all. Because that's the most idiotic thing you can do. Trey Young, 21 minutes. Thank you for the free series win. You uh, you better switch it back. Yeah, okay. What is Greg Pop? I don't even know if it's Pop Steel, but what is he doing? All right, so they got their real guys out there now. 
We win 3-2. And we get another championship. Bro, they kind of sold by having it so that Trey Young was coming off the bench for those two games. Like, real life, that could have been the series, bro. Because they winning two games at home against us, that's impressive. Will we retain the Thompson twin? That's the real question. The answer to that question is yes. All right, so we do. Our entire core is locked up. Even Marcus Sash was back. Oh, it's GG's. We're going to keep it moving. Keep it moving. We won't, we won't lose. A 6-5 and five start. Um. Okay, Jacob is not injured. Why do I keep calling him Jacob? Who is Jacob? Okay, so it's a real guy. It's a real guy. Um, you want to know why this is funny? He's from down the street. That's why. <laughs> so that's why I keep thinking of his name because he's from where I'm from. All right. So that okay. So that that tracks a little bit. But the fact that we're we're six and five, scary. Because there's no way. Why are we teetering around 500 now? Do we? Did Monty Williams go to a different team? We got a new coach. That sometimes that can matter. Um, what am I doing? Go to coaching? No, it's still Monty. All right, I'm gonna let it ride. It's not my place to make trades or nothing, but this, I'm so surprised. I cannot believe the season that just happened. We still get DPOY, but we did not get MVP for the first time. Um, he does end up number two in MVP because that's what this means, so that's cool. The team didn't make the playoffs. They literally didn't make the playoffs with a 99 a 89, 89, 87, 85, 84, 83. That's really an 86, but he's upset. This is the most disappointing team in the history of bet. They didn't make the playoffs. They didn't make it. Or the play-in. They were two games out of the play-in. They were a sub-500 team with a literal 99 demigod on their team. I don't know how. They won, what, 71 games last year? So you go from 71 wins to to 39. All right. Well, what will happen if you add a 99 overall to the worst team in basketball? They'll win two championships. And and, and then that's it. That's it, I guess. I don't know, man. That was that's, I'm as confused as y'all. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.